Report continues on this Friday morning. Pete is in for Michelle. We have uh, Newport behind us. You can see, well, maybe you can't see it, but there's some snow on the rooftops in Newport. Yeah. But like up north, northern part of the state, they just got a little flurry overnight. It, it's kind of been a situation between the haves okay. like Newport and yes. the have-nots like in Providence and points north. So that's kind of the situation right now, Patrick, but it does make for a pretty scene behind you there. We also want to show you sort of what's happening here with the latest alerts from the National Weather Service. So we're under a winter weather advisory for the rest of the day through tonight. What that means is there still will be some slick spots. There's still going to be some snow accumulating, but this is not as high of a criteria as a warning. That's when we're more concerned about big snowfall accumulations and things like that. The advisory in effect more for just the potential of some slick roads. And here's what we're thinking. Now this is additional accumulation on top of what's it's already on the ground. So one to three additional here. Remember places like South Kingstown, Newport, Narragansett between around three and five inches. And that was on the ground by yesterday afternoon from that heavy burst of snow which came through. So on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar you notice a lot of us in a lull from the steadier snow. You can see it's a little bit steadier up to our north moving through central and eastern Massachusetts. But I wouldn't be surprised if at times this morning this fills in a little bit. And then especially this afternoon through this evening where some of that accumulation is possible. So it's just sort of a snowfall event that takes a long time to hit the ground at fluctuating intensities. Here's another look. Beautiful view of the Newport Bridge. Visibility is actually in good shape but as Patrick mentioned the snow on top of the roofs there. And Narragansett you had four inches on the ground by yesterday afternoon from that heavier burst of snow and you could see some of that snow still on the ground here. And it's a situation where most of the main roads are in pretty good shape because of the treatment. Some of the side roads may be a little bit of icy because even though we're not seeing a lot of heavy snow right now. We are mixing in a little bit of freezing drizzle in spots so on the sidewalks, parking lots, things like that. You may have a few issues. So the center of low pressure, pretty far away here, but this is a big kind of expanded storm. So on the north side of it, we are going to get clipped by a few more of these bands of snow and maybe even some sleet along the south coast as this low races by us today. And in terms of an hour by hour forecast, it's essentially 8, 9 o'clock this morning, more light off and on snow showers, maybe a little bit of sleet for Block Island, Cape Cod, and the islands. Late morning through the afternoon, some heavier bands of snow are possible, so we're talking light to moderate bands where you could accumulate an inch or two. Same thing this evening. Now, this evening, we're going to keep an eye on places like Taunt, New Bedford, and points east out into Plymouth County. There are some computer models which paint some heavier snowfall totals out here as that storm starts to curl away tonight. A mix of snow, sleet, and maybe some freezing drizzle. So I would still say be on the lookout for some icy roads overnight, even into early Saturday morning as the storm really takes its time moving out of southern New England. And then by Saturday morning, moisture should clear up, and that'll give us partly sunny skies. It'll be a cool day on Saturday with temperatures in the 30s. Now, today's planner shows off and on snow and sleet continues. Temperatures right around the freezing mark. Now, during the day, those slick conditions may improve a little bit because you get a little bit of heating from the sun even though we're facing mostly cloudy skies and then once that sun sets that's when some of those roads could get a little bit more slick this evening that actually shows that with our temperatures dropping either at or just below freezing with that off and on snow and sleet continuing. So in the seven day forecast it's nice that we finally see a break in the action for Saturday. There are the partly sunny skies mid 30s on Sunday kind of a cool morning temperatures mid teens to low 20s by Sunday afternoon up to around 30 34 degrees. We will be watching a next system approaching. This one will be a fast mover, so we're not expecting any significant accumulations from that, but that could be some rain or snow showers moving through late on Monday into the early morning hours of Tuesday. You can always get more updates on our website at WPRI.com, where we also have an updated weather blog. Now, let's send it back to you.